How to create perfect loop in FL Studio. Mention my comment in our video. Yes, I want to learn a technically perfect loop video. Make a loop using Akai MPK Mini 2. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this today from scratch, all right? Perfect. I guess that is what we are going to learn today. How to create a technically perfect loop with the Akai MPK Mini 2. So grab your Akai MPK Mini 2, guys. And if you have not uh, seen some of my other tutorials, go check them out before we get in this one. And uh, we're going to learn a very base fundamental of some music theory, what makes a perfect loop, and how to use your MPK doing it. And... Um, well, you know what? Let's just hop right in. All right, so I made uh, my sound selection. The first thing to a technically perfect loop, I would say subjectively, is your sound selection. Make sure you have something good to work with, whether you know what you're aiming for or not. Uh, just make sure you like the sounds you're working with. Uh, next thing is going to be chord progression and variation and then your beat patterns. Now that you've got these three things, sound selection, which will lead into your beat patterns and your chord progressions and variation, the last thing will be transitions, and we'll cover that last. But first, let's do some recording. All right, guys, so we're gonna um, start with the beat, I think. That's what we're gonna do, because I need a beat to play along with. Let's pull up FPC, and let's record. All right. All right, I think we had it for a little bit there. Let's go take a look. All right, that's close enough. So we'll hit C and do a cut tool right here. And right here. Get rid of that, get rid of that. What we'll do is we'll shift down make this here, mute this, open this one up, make this unique, then let's quantize it. See if we can get that right. Tools, quick quantize. All right, let's shift this over. All right, now uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make another pattern, pattern four, bada boom, bada bing. Let's do this and let's do, let's do two over and we'll get something good. Loop record and blend record is on. We're recording on to pattern four. Set that to fourth steps and let's, uh, let's try and give this a record.
All you need is one part that sounds good, guys. And then you can just repeat it. Like this. Oh, except I need to put this a little bit more forward right here. There we go. So check that out. Boom. 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 Boom the whole way, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, let's listen to that. Now we can start playing some keys. All right, guys. Ah, she's hot. All right, guys. Uh, let's record our chord progression while we are playing. Now remember, if you can't play it at full speed, then you can always slow down your tempo. This is not that big of a deal. Beautiful! Look at that! We got it! First try! Now we can quick quantize and just see if it uh if it sounds good. If not, of course we'll go in and just do it ourselves. Alright, so let's uh let's take a look at that. All right, nice. Now let's go, uh, let me do something else. Shift over, let's make this unique. And uh, I wanna try making all these kind of level out the same. We got kind of a loop going on here. Uh, let's experiment a little bit with one of our other sounds. Yeah, that's going to be sexy. So we're going to put that on its own little intro. Nice. So it's going to be like. OK, that's how we're going to record it right there. Nice. Got it. Shoo, took a minute. And let's uh let's get that all timed out correctly, guys. Oh, Jesus. Quick quantize. Yeah, there's our intro. Nice. 
And then let's control A, let's make this unique. All right, control down. So let's do this. So this is where we get really into the uh, mixing part. So get a loop with all your sounds so far. It's, it looks like a good time for gain staging. So uh, let's... Uh all right, so what we're going to do is really pull back on this. So now let's, um, you know what we need to do. I don't know how this one's, it doesn't sound that loud. This sounds way more overpowering. harder so I recommend you guys go download this free uh, DLL 
called OTT. It's amazing. Um, bada boom, bada bing. Check this out. So what it is, it's an upward and downwards compressor. If you guys want to learn how to use it, I'll make a tutorial on that next. Actually, I probably will just do that. But uh, let's get this sounding great. So. OTT's making that. All right. I wonder what happens if we put a little OTT on this one. OTT. There's going to be a lot of editing later. I hate editing. I think I found a bass that I want, though we're gonna have to side chain it to the kick. But for now, let's get a bass pattern going right here. All right, so. Yeah, and we're gonna clean it up a little in the mix, but uh, let's get this going first. So we're gonna do like kind of what I like to do where I do like a half record, but I stare at the timing. So we go in here and we just let it play while we look at the piano roll.
we're going to need to add another kick to this. So we'll go to make unique. And we need to add a kick right here. Yeah, check that out. That's nice. All right, now we got to make that bass sound good. So check this out. So to sidechain that, uh, we're going to send that to this bus right here. Yeah. Rename color, sidechain. And let's make that a solid white. Boom. Gotty. All right. Now, uh, turn, uh, put in, um, uh, uh, pretty bounce. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take it off of the master send and we're going to send it to this. And then we're going to send that to this one, not that. And then we're going to make an automation clip for our kicks. So our side chain is going to sound, we're going to manually side chain. So check this out. So side chain, we're going to want to do this copy value, paste value here, put another one here. Yeah. And every time the kick hits. Since our kick is pretty basic, it shouldn't be hard to. I think our kick is every four. So we just do that until, until we get to the end of four. And then you're going to see we're going to need to do that twice. Whoa. Hey, yo. So this is our kick pattern. But with this part, we're going to have to cut right here. What am I? Oh, doing this accidentally. <laughs> All right. I think we want to punch up a little harder. And let's change how the dynamics of our sub bass works. We'll turn the sustain up. Right, and now let's add some uh, harmonics to our bass so it pops out a little more. So let's turn everything back on in the mix.
and merge your sub. Alright guys, so right now I want to explain why this is looking good. So um, we're going to look at the span right here. So our sub bass area is a little too high. But we're still getting some nice full round harmonics here and here. And we're getting nice stuff here as well, up on the top end. And you'll notice a little valley right here. This is great for a singer. So, cause that's where the voice vocal frequencies uh, tend to be, uh, fall a lot in. So this is great because it'll allow uh, the beat to fill in around, um, around here. The vocal prominent, which will probably have the music duck behind a little is right here. It'll put a little more here and then just a little bit on the top end as well. And it should, really balance out the track to come up evenly with that bass end. Uh, we'll have to push back a lot of volume on things, but right now we're looking at a really well-balanced song, in my opinion. I like it. Um, and that some of the sounds that were up front aren't too much up front anymore, and some of the ones that needed to be are. Um, so we made our loop. We made a loop, all right? Now, the next thing is going to be progression. Uh, you want some variance. So think of like, we have an intro to the song. Uh, what we'll do in pattern three to make a little bit right here is we'll take the kick out. So let's make unique and then let's take the kick out of here. make this one unique also. We'll keep the kick on the first part right there. I think I want to start with the highs and then we'll slowly EQ in the plucks. Check this out. in here or low pass the plucks in so go here and we'll go make a grab a parametric eq um go to a 2018 and then to emphasize that you're cutting just add a little bit of bump right there So what we need to EQ is this right here. You see that? Good. So I'm going to get a good start point that I like. Good. 
So let's right click, create automation clip. And then we'll do this. unique get a little bit of extra kick in here one two so we'll get a nice one two three four going on in there check this out this seems like a good intro so you want your intro after you've made your, your big thing make your intro i guess this isn't a loop now but here you go So this is probably going to come back in later. Mm. get some just kicks going on here. Pattern three, make unique, cut these. I only want that sub bass coming in when I have the percussion in the back. Nice. 
All right, so what we'll do here is um, let's make this one more realized, this part right here. So let's make unique and highlight this. Now let's get these not plucking. Let's get these going on full like this. And what we're gonna do is really fill out the the uh, sounds that these guys are making, okay? So let's check it out, come on. All right, so what we're gonna do is, um, as I said, we'll do, what was that, that chord? All right, good. Uh, F, G, and C. We're adding a little, a little break for the listener to listen to something else that fits in the song, if that makes sense. And the way to really fill out this progression while still keeping the same is we're gonna do this. So we'll reinforce these. Actually, no. We'll do... And then we'll add a little ending on this one. So remember, just make unique. We got ourselves a little bit of a break for the listener and then we can like really right now it's just arranging everything so I guess I'll just fast forward through this process so you guys can just see what I'm doing and if things get complicated I'll explain it So um, an interesting thing I'm going to show you guys, check this out. If you want to do something cool with like, uh, say you want to do something like this, 
Okay, so check this out, guys. You're gonna like this one. This is where I want it. Create automation clip. Boom. This is going to be nice. All right. Check this out. Copy value. And we're going to need to paste that again here. So we need to go like this. We need to go like. We need to make sure that EQ is not always on, by the way. So we'll take care of that after. There we go. only activates at that time like right there so we're gonna make another uh, automation clip uh, we're gonna start this on low start it on low or else it'll always start start on off or else then or else it'll always want to start on high Create it on on so check this out off and then now our EQ is on and then it will be off again so listen to this we could just throw on the whole the whole loop check it out we'll do this we'll go bada boom bada bing yeah We are looking at the beginning of a loop. All right. <sighs> Let's listen for things that we can use in this. We also need to make sure we're side chaining all of that. I really hope this video wasn't boring, guys. I'll try and edit it so you guys only have to see the good shit. Sorry. Okay, so let's listen to the song at this point. We still have more work to do with cymbals and percussion and transitions, but right now we've done the first three steps. We've done sound selection, we've done chord progression, 
and we've done beats, uh, beat variation, all right? And we've utilized these in here with different effects as well. We've used some low passes to create a little different feeling at certain parts. We've side chained our bass. So we've also done a little bit of mixing and uh, not as much gain staging as we should have. But we've done a lot of mixing, which let's is listen nice. to this right now and see the what we're at. and then it loops right there. All right, so what I'm noticing is we have a need to uh, fill in on our transitional part right here, or on our little like um, bridge, I guess you would call it. And we need a little something to make it sound human. So I'm thinking we'll add like a vocal sampler samples, maybe something that's like kind of uh, not up front, but uh, I'll explain it. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the sound made and I'll show you guys how I made it and then we'll take it from there. Break time. All right guys we're back and I figured out a little bit more of type of variation I want to add to this beat so uh, we're gonna hit it up real quick let's get on the MPK. Let's check this out. sub bass and then a quick tools quick quantize <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's add like a nice uh, a low pass on uh, select for metric EQ two, and we're gonna start this as off. Create automation clip.
speed up the subways.
uh, this part is going to need some type of melody to go on with it. So what we're going to do is just uh, rather than play in, we're just going to use uh, this same synthesizer here, the one we've been using as a pluck. We're going to take it, make a new pattern, pattern 23, and we're going to put it right here and kind of, and we're just going to copy this, control A, control C, uh, open up new pattern with the, with the pluck one, piano roll, paste that in. So then let's extend uh, these notes all the way to a, um, to full bars, okay? And I'll show you something that we're simple that we're gonna do to kind of give a little more life to uh, this area of the song, all right? So let's go to tools and let's go to arpeggiate. Right here, I want those synths to undergo a little bit of a transition, okay? So we have them really pumped into this already, but what we're going to do is control A, control C, and then let's, let's just clone this serum. and put it to is 35 not taken we'll put it to 36 all right control a control c delete use the new one and then do this
almost got it. Check this out. I was just thinking of side chaining it, but gross beat might sound cool. transition. Nice, that's not bad. Let's listen to that one more time. to be a little more in the background. And you know what we can do to really bring forward the scratches is let's identify what frequency the scratches are really prominent in and kind of pull away the rest a little bit. So let's uh, let's go in here, now that we have it soloed.
Now we got a little more in there, all right? <sighs> Next, we need to think transitions uh, because there's not a lot of transitions in this track yet. And by that, I mean like really nice, like, first let's find some reverse symbols. Get this on its own track somewhere, 58. Get that really, take away the subs, pull it down, separate it a little bit, put some reverb on it. And some delay. That's a good way to end it right, right So now let's do something cool here. Uh, let's get just a hi-hat pattern, uh, just for a little more variation. So let's go find a hi-hat that we like. All right. So let's come up with a pattern now. Yo, yo. Let's do something cool. Nice. Now let's get it sitting more in the back of the mix. Check it out. First, let's clean up the sound. And add a panomatic. Boom. Now let's solo it and listen. Yeah, and just a little bit more reverb. And 
let's add a, a little bit of a course on here. Check this out. Oh, shit. Yeah. And we'll add a little bit of clean, just a tiny bit. Now we got a little bit more variation in our song. So this spot could probably use some hi-hats. And if you want to just do your rolls without some of the other stuff, you can do stuff as simple as this. Just be like, oh, I only want that in, and I only want... Alright, let's listen to this loop. I think we, uh, I think I found what I want the song to sound like, or what I want the loop or the beat to sound like. I would probably send this to an artist right now. So let's go listen to it quickly. Alright guys, so I'm going to render this out so you guys don't have to listen to the click, 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 clicks, and we can listen to it and then dissect what we want to do next with it. Always, uh, when you render out, put the BPM information and the, the key information in there so you know which scale and which key it is before you go master or send to other people. It's just better that way. All right, guys, so we'll be back in a bit uh, when we open up the next project and see the WAV file, all right? 
All right, guys, so we are now into the process of what we would decide with this loop. There are three different things that I would do from this step. Um, if I want to send it off just like this to be sold on Pond 5, I would give it a very brief, very quick, just two minute like auto master with isotope. Boom, let's go to more plugins. Now, you could just master with uh, Maximus too. Uh, it's really easy. Just do this, Maximus, and you could do a preset one, like Clear Master. There's a ton of great mastering presets in here if you want to use them. Um, normally, I would probably just go to a clear master one, and uh, then I would I would choose the clear master preset, and then I would take a look at my compressors and how they're acting. <laughs> sounds pretty decent uh, but I'm gonna use the um, plug-in isotope let's see what happens beautiful thing about ozone is it'll do uh, pretty much your job for you so let's take a look at our waveform guys it's looking pretty good right let's take a look at when the uh, loudest part of the songs are that's gonna be a big thing is mastering when the song is the loudest. Get out of my way. All right, so now I'll go to this and I will click Master Assistant and I'll go to Streaming, I'll click Next and I'll play the audio. Okay, I knew it was gonna bring up a little here, but I didn't know it was gonna do that there. And the bass is definitely down. So. All right, let's render this bad boy out to an MP3 also. And let's start.
Oh yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the song. I hope you enjoyed something you may have learned. If you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, this has been Professor. Like and subscribe and share. And uh, let me uh, hear some of your projects, guys. I always check out people who subscribe and leave comments as well. I check out your profiles and I'll leave comments on your videos sometimes too. Check out the beats below, check out the shops below. If you guys want beats, I offer on BeatStars, Pond5, Song Trader. All right, guys. Well, I need to go, like, get ready for the day. No, I'm going to work on more music. All right, guys. This video is about to take a year to edit. Take it easy. Thanks so much for dropping by. Check out the shops below. Like and subscribe, etc., etc. Have an awesome one, guys. All right? Take it easy. Peace.